The Mercedes-Benz UCI Mountain Bike World Cup returned to Val de Soleil for another year of exciting race action. Heavy rain greeted the riders on the start line, adding a further challenge on top of what is already one of the most physical short track courses. All eyes are on the World Cup leader Kate Courtney and her greatest rival Yolanda Neff, the Swiss star hoping that she could use the horrendous conditions to her advantage. I love the rain and I love racing in the rain. I almost would hope the weather would be like this for Sunday, um, but yeah, even for tonight it's cool, so yeah, I, I like that. Onto the race and it was Rebecca McConnell who was fastest out of the start gate, but her lead didn't last long with Pauline ferrand Pivot overtaking her, with Kate Courtney hot on her trail. The 27-year-old Frenchwoman worked hard for the first few laps at the top of the field. Compatriots Yolanda Neff and Sina Frey started to up the ante with the lead changing several times between the two. As the track deteriorated further, the lead pair took a firm grip on the race. And by the time the fifth lap came around, Sina Frey powered away from the others, with Yolanda Neff chasing her down. Kate Corney dropping down into eighth. In the final lap, the newly crowned European champion in the elite shook off the under-23 European champion. It's much cooler to have like a double Swiss win and I, now it's my best XCC race so far and I'm super happy with my performance today. Yolanda Neff with her second short track win this season. It was incredibly hard in the end and like these uphills are super hard and yeah, I can't believe I, I can't believe I won. Pauline Ferrand Prevot finished the race behind the two Swiss in third. Overall leader Kate Courtney rounded out the top 10. Yolanda Neff closes the gap to Courtney by 80 points. The fifth round of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Mountain Bike World Cup arrived in Val de Soleil, Italy, alongside extremely challenging conditions for the athletes as heavy rain created a slippery and hazardous track. Coming into the race, Nino Schurter topped the overall standings with a lead of 245 points. It's going to be difficult to have any strategy. I think it's just to get safe through it's, uh, the main thing today. Brazilian Henrique Avancini, Matteo van der Poel and Swiss Matthias Flukiger would nestle just behind the overall leader and looking to eat into his lead. The start of the race saw Nino Schurter and Jordan Saru struggling in the mud and both fell back a number of places. Cyclocross world champion van der Poel, who thrives in the mud, took to the front of the race into lap two. Only Henrique Avancini and the Dutchman have won a short track race in 2019, and unsurprisingly, they slipped away from the field. Belgian Jens Schermans was sat back in 25th place, his challenge for a podium looking unlikely to say the least. The front running pair stayed together, swapping the lead until the final lap, when Matteo launched his signature attack. Avancini has been detonated here. Oh, look at Van der Poel. Van der Poel had proved himself unstoppable in the short track, having won every race he's entered this year. Jan Sherman's attacked the chasing group and took a career best third place. It doesn't get much better than this, but actually it's harder to ride on the mud with a mountain bike than with a cyclocross bike. But uh, yeah, of course, I enjoy these uh, conditions. I lost again to, to Van der Poel, so I'm not happy for that. But it's always good to be ahead of Nino, doesn't matter what's the race or general or whatever. But uh, close the gap a little bit more uh, for the general, for the overall. Matteo van der Poel wins his fourth short track this season, continuing his 100% record in this format. Nino Schurter lost the sprint and finished in fifth. In the overall, Matteo van der Poel jumped Avancini and moved into second, while Hjorns Humans climbs into ninth position. Schurter still top of the pile ahead of the Olympic race.